In this video, we're going to be solving this problem using nodal analysis. So the problem says find the voltage V out using nodal analysis. So we have V out here at the bottom right, and it's the voltage across this resistor. And we have a few resistors in the circuit. We have a voltage source over to the left and a two amp current source in the middle. Before we start this problem, I see something that we can simplify, so I'm going to do that before we define our nodes. So let me just make a copy of this down here, and we don't need that. And I see over here that we have a 5 ohm resistor in series with a 2 ohm resistor and nothing in between them. So we can combine those because we know that two resistors in series, you can just add them together to get an equivalent resistor. So let me just erase these two. I'll draw a straight line here, new resistor there, and this resistor is going to be 2 plus 5, or 7 ohms. So that makes our problem a little bit simpler, because we actually just got rid of one node. So we used to have a node up in the corner over here, and now this is all one node. So that makes the problem just a little bit easier. So now let's go ahead and define our nodes. I see that we have a node here. We have another one here. This middle point is the same node as this one because there's a wire connecting them. We have one here, which is this whole area. And then I'm just going to define the bottom here as ground. So it'll have a voltage of zero down there. So now I'm just gonna give names to all these nodes. I'll call this top one V1 call this one on the right, V2, and the one on the left, I could give a name, but we can see right away that if this is zero down here, and then we go through this 20 volt voltage source, this is going to have to be 20 volts right there. So that's actually much easier than having another node there, and now we only have two unknowns, and we can solve this whole circuit. For nodal analysis, we need to know Kirchhoff's current law, or KCL, and that says that the sum of all the currents in or out of a node is equal to zero. And what I do is I define currents going out of a node as positive and going into a node as negative. And I always draw all of my currents going out then. And this way I can just keep everything positive and as long as I'm consistent, everything works out. So we can go ahead and write our equation for our V1 node. I'll start with the current going out to the left, and we see the current going out to the left will be the current through this seven ohm resistor that we drew in, and that is going to be the voltage across a seven ohm resistor divided by the resistance. V equals IR, so I equals V over R. So I'll write that down for reference. If we see the voltage across this 7 ohm resistor is going to be the difference of V1 and 20 volts. And since I drew the arrow going out, we're going to write it as V1 minus 20 all over 7. And positive sign because I say going out is positive and I drew all of my currents going out. And the current going down is very easy. We see that we have a two amp current source. So the current going through this branch must be two amps. And then the current going to the right goes through this three ohm resistor. So the voltage across that resistor is going to be V1 minus V2 following the direction of the arrow. So V1 minus V2 all over three. And that's going to be equal to zero because all three of those currents added together should be zero according to KCL. I mean, we see by drawing all the arrows going out and defining that as a positive direction, we get a really simple way of doing theories where we just take the voltage where we're starting minus the voltage on the opposite end of any resistor over the resistance and just add those together. And of course, we have the two amp current source, which is very easy. Now we can look at V2. So first I'll do the current going up. So that'll be where we're at, which is V2 minus where we're going on the other side of this 3 ohm resistor, V1 over the resistance 3. Plus now we're looking at the 6 ohm resistor and once again starting at V2 and the other end is right here and we see that's connected directly to our 20 volt voltage source. So this node is all 20 volts. So V2 minus 20 over 6. 
and the last branch going down is going to be V2 minus the voltage here, which we defined this whole bottom node as our ground or zero. So minus zero all over two, and that's going to be equal to zero. Now I'm gonna go ahead and simplify these two equations a little bit so there's not fractions. So for this one, I'll multiply everything by seven times three is 21. So I'm going to get 3v1 minus 60 plus 42 plus 7v1 minus 7v2 equals to zero. Give myself a, a little more room here. And then if we do similar thing down here, I'll multiply everything by uh, least common denominator here it would be 12. So we'll get 4v2 minus 4v1 plus 2v2 minus 40 plus 6v2 is equal to 0. So now we have two equations, and our two unknowns are v1 and v2. We have the same number of equations as unknown, so we can go ahead and solve. So let me copy these down here. And I'm going to write these out in matrix form so that way we can easily solve using a calculator. I know we have two equations, two unknowns, so we'll have a two by two matrix. And then we'll have our unknown matrix, which will be two by one. And our constant matrix, which will be another two by one vector. So starting with my unknowns, I know I have V1 and V2. And then I could just write in my equations. So in the first equation, I look to see how many V1s I have. Looks like I have three plus seven or 10. And then see how many V2s I have looks like just negative seven. And then for the constants, we have negative 60 plus 42, which is negative 18. But we see that we put the constant on the other side. So zero plus negative 18 will just give us positive 18. And then for the second equation, we'll see how many V1s we have. Looks like just that negative four. And V2s, we have four plus two plus six or 12. And the constants looks like we just have this negative 40 on the left side, move that to the right side, you get positive 40. And now we can go ahead and use a calculator or MATLAB or any other tool that you might want to solve this matrix. And you can pause the video and solve that now if you'd like to, but I'm just gonna jump straight to V1 is equal to 5.39 and V2 is equal to 5.13. So this is good, and now we know the voltage at all the nodes on our circuit, but the problem asked, if we scroll back up here, is find the voltage V out. So V out is the voltage across this two ohm resistor, and since we defined this down here as ground, this V out is just going to be the same as V2, because that's the voltage across the resistor. So we can just write V out is equal to V2, and V out, is equal to 5.13 volts. And this is our answer to the problem. And if I haven't already, I'm going to upload a video solving this problem with mesh analysis. And in my opinion, for this particular problem, the nodal analysis is a lot easier. Um, but if you want to solve it by mesh, of course, you can do that as well. And you can check out my video. I'll put a link in the description. But thank you for watching.